Hey, welcome back to this beautiful channel, my fellow maniacs. And I'm here with another one of these videos to help you guys out with your web comics. Now, before I jump into this video, don't forget to casually just roll up on that like and subscribe button. Welcome yourself to the channel. Give that bell a little ring for me if you enjoy and want to be notified of anything else I do on this channel. Can't thank you all enough for the great support you've all been showing me this past few months. My webcomic is coming up on its last two episodes for the first season. So if you, you know, want to give it a read, feel free to go check out the Merchant of Ignitus on Webtoon and Tapas. So without further ado, let's hop straight into this video now for those of you who joined me on my webtoon and chill live streams which happens every tuesdays on this channel for those of you who want to you know join or check it out but for those of you who were there you can kind of gather an idea of what i'm going to talk about today and in that live stream i mentioned using blender for making your web comics now i can already feel the confusion and weird looks on everyone else's faces right now but trust me hear me out guys hear me out i know blender is predominantly a 3d software but but there are 2d animation software features as well and it's this aspect that i actually want to look at okay i want to explore this aspect more blender's 2d animation elements are similar to toon boom from what i've gathered uh, the way the tools work and the interface work according to me However, in Blender, there are many other ways you can merge 2D elements and 3D elements as explored in my previous live stream, as I've mentioned before. Now, now, what if there was a way to combine these elements in such a way that you can still capture the flexibility of the 2D drawing aspect as well as keep the consistency of the 3D aspects as well? And then building a library with these assets so you can grab them whenever you want and you know it just makes everything so easy for you it's like god i'm salivating at the mouth thinking of this shit this is all in theory though i haven't really pushed all the tests to their absolute limit yet but i will torture blender until it gives me the sweet juiciness of the webcomic process i seek now if i figure this out and it works this could revolutionize the the whole way of basically how we create web comics you know and it could really change the game up so i'm very excited because in this process you can basically create so much crazy things in which you can artistically explore through these new processes as we kind of figure out a more simple and easier way to also implement a little bit of animation into your web comics as well to create motion comics even you know you want a little you want to do a little promotion video for your web comic you know it's going to make things much more easier with the little movements you can move things around in blender and all these other crazy animation elements now added to your process as well and i, I even think in webtoon i think you can upload in gif format but if i'm not mistaken i think you can also do short little clips in webtoon if i'm not mistaken for your panels now how practical is this method for you know your average webtoon or webcomic artist well this is kind of where it gets a bit tricky because this method although it sounds amazing and there's so much you can do with it it's not really easy to implement into everyone's webcomic making process first you'll have to get the hang of using blender which could be your best friend or your worst enemy this method might actually just work better for animators who actually have a background in blender and now they're kind of hopping onto web comics like myself and also transitioning from clip studio from creator photoshop or any other you know drawing slash painting app to blender is going to be quite tough for many artists unless as I've said before, you have experience with Blender. But if I can figure this out, then I can build a workspace, um, like startup file in Blender for you guys. I'll make things actually easy for you and just make things more bearable, to be honest. Now, I'm appealing to every artist out there who has the knowledge on certain aspects of Blender. 
um, in, especially when it comes to 2d animation and the grease pencil tool um, to share all the information you have on it as well as you know share a little bit of knowledge whenever you can every little bit helps okay and i feel like uh, as a community if we all have a little bit of uh, blender knowledge and we shove it together and you know we can build our own little process and we'll really make things easier for ourselves in terms of especially for those of you who can't really draw or are getting the hang of drawing um and and this is just to help those people get their stories out there in any way which way in any which form they can do it you know so if you can't draw maybe you're very good at coding maybe you're good at blender like 3d modeling uh maybe you're more um like uh not really that artistic in the sense of like drawing and coloring in this sense i feel like blender can really help with this aspects because they have a bunch of nodes that you can move around and you can really and you can really mix and match shaders and mess with things so you can kind of combine the 3d space with 2d space and it's all types of crazy things that uh, will really help you guys out so now i did find a bunch of problems with this method so far but i feel like it's just my ignorance on the various aspects of the method i'm seeking to implement so i can't really say right now like if those are actual problems at the moment as well as like blender 3.0 is around the corner basically so this like all these issues that i'm having now might even be solved in the future because i know blender like they just like the community of blender they kind of ship in wherever they can and they make things easier for the artists which i really love and so this school definitely maybe be cleaned up in the future and with blender's constant uploads basically unloaded on us every single month like it literally just comes out like there's a bloody factory behind it Blender also has a crazy amount of add-ons that the community constantly provides and also it's mostly free so there's things you can do just by sometimes pushing a couple of buttons really so yeah i'll basically be doing my research on what i can what cannot happen in this process um i don't know i don't really know what may come out of it i might not it might not even work okay that's a possibility but i'm gonna give it a try i'm pretty sure i i am able to do it and the best way i feel like i'm going to figure this out is if i actually uh use this in making a webcomic itself so instead of uh, i planned on doing this for my next webcomic i planned on using this method but i feel like it's way too it's way too much pressure to put on my next webcomic so i'm going to be working on a short story okay i don't know what's gonna be about but i feel like i should start small okay i should start off small and then work my way to all the other crazy things that i plan on doing so i'm gonna start small and through this short story i'm only going to use blender in making this short story i'm gonna challenge myself to only use blender so this is gonna be very interesting this is gonna happen um coming up obviously on my last few episodes for merchant of ignitus once i'm done with the first season of that webcomic i am definitely gonna be checking out this method and see the ins and outs of it i also um checked up some tutorials and there is many ways you can do um 2d effects and everything in blender so um yeah i mean you can even maybe do your own two little 2d animations of the effects and everything so i'm really going to be looking at that uh, there's ways you can also um kind of um edit the mesh of your character so it kind of looks like they they are moving at a very fast speed and everything so i'm definitely gonna see how far i get with this so the short story i'm working on i don't really know what's it gonna be about but i had some ideas um i wrote it down somewhere on a note so i'm gonna grab one of those ideas use this uh method to build that story as well as make my own web comic and i think i'll post it on webtoon and tappers just a little short story i think i'll make it maybe like three to five episodes i feel like that's fair each episode having maybe i don't know 40 panels like i normally do so um we will see we'll see how this works out 
yeah but obviously uh as i go along with this if i can definitely figure out this method i will do a video series on this as well maybe help you guys out in a way so you can plant your footing in this method and you can kind of figure out your own little slick ways of dealing with certain aspects in blender um maybe there will be a way in which you can integrate certain things from clip studio paint or whatever drawing software you use into blender in a certain type of way um that's gonna be interesting to look at because i know you can copy vector lines uh in a certain file format and you can actually bring it into blender as vector lines so there's many things that i want to try with this there's many things i'm planning to look into for this but overall it's going to be insane like it's gonna be a very insane uh, process it's gonna be a really cool journey to take for me as an artist and we're gonna see how far this rabbit hole goes okay and that's it for this video guys let me know down below your thoughts your criticisms on using blender for your webcomic making journey and if you have any knowledge or information to add to this little video please go ahead and let me know in the comments down below um what little things you feel like will be helpful to this process as well as joining me on the live streams and actually uh, we actually gonna be going through some of these things that I will pick up probably during the process But that will be for another time sometime in the near future Don't forget to be kind to my like and subscribe buttons Stay notified for more content if you enjoy these type of videos I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye. Bye guys